So we are making uh, face shields for uh, various different jobs, uh, med group, security forces, uh, FSS personnel, pretty much anyone who has to deal with other people to give them that barrier uh, uh, for two reasons. One, um, it cuts out the, the wait time of shipping, uh, having to coordinate with other uh, entities that we can't really have control over. We can make our own uh, and we can produce them at the rate that we can produce them. And, uh, but the other part is uh, we're free to modify it. We can change it however we need to. If it doesn't function a certain way or if this job needs something that was slightly different, we can uh, design it differently. Uh, so that gives us the ability to uh, really customize it to that particular job, that particular task that's being done. Trial and error. Uh, I mean, this is not, we didn't just get this print and then just kick it to the, the printer and then it works and then everything's happy. I mean, it, it's a lot of mess up and figuring out what works and what doesn't work. And so that's what innovation is. That's what it's about is we're the ones that can be able to test and, and and screw up without it costing, you know, uh, thousands of dollars for that type of screw up so that we can say, hey, yes, this works and no, this doesn't work. So uh, that's that's a process that uh, it's been a little slow to catch on in the Air Force because uh, we don't like to mess up, but it's something that we, we definitely need, especially in times like this. We need what works. We don't know that if we don't go out and test things. Cool.